It is Friday, October 23rd, 2020, and this is your Three Gorges Dam update. We have three pieces of information to cover today, including a look at the live stream and the water level at the dam. Yesterday's video had many interesting comments. Today we'll highlight a few of those, and we have some new tweets. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video, while researching for these reports I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And first let's check in on the live stream at the dam. The spillway angle camera is still up and running today. And the side angle camera remains deactivated. It's been about a month since this thing's been off. I know someone asked, we should have like a little counter on the screen with the days just tallying up at this point. But yeah, it has been approximately a month since this stream has been on. And now a quick check in on the water level at the dam. The current water level is 173.85 meters. The current inflow is not noted and the current outflow is listed at 13,800 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. And over the past 24 hours, the water level at the dam has risen. It was about 173.65 meters and currently sits at 173.85 meters. Upstream at Kuntan, the water level is down a bit. It was about 175.94 meters and currently sits at 175.73 meters. And the first comment is by Colin Barker. I have been watching on and off for a while now and did some really quick research. A paper made by the USA in 2008 or 2009 surfaced describing the geology. It is not good. Limestone, bedrock, massively uplifted layers in stone are tilted and not flat, 17 kilometers from active fault systems. Limestone is a softer rock. Niagara Falls eats it at one meter a year. Uplift makes landslides common as there are layers ready to be pulled off easily and fault lines near the site already. Why was this site chosen in the first place? One of two of these would be bad enough, but all three is a really bad thing. Hoover Dam was built on sandstone, a rock arguably softer and more porous than limestone, but the layers there are flat, Grand Canyon horizontal lines, and no major fault lines nearby. I believe the site was chosen because of the massive opportunity to generate electricity, and I do know that the idea was first brought up in 1919 by Sun Yat-sen, um, the pioneer of the Republic of China. The article was titled, A Plan to Develop the Industry, and Sun Yat-sen mentions the possibility of damming the Yangtze River to help control floods and generate electricity, and that was courtesy of ThoughtCo.com. And Colin, thank you so much for the comment. I'll leave a link to the paper in the description. And another interesting comment left on yesterday's video was courtesy of Christopher Hogue. At 537 you see a light blue tile in the upper right. That is one satellite image tile. Every scene in Google Earth is made up of tiles of a curved Earth, taken at possibly different angles by a moving satellite. And I apologize if you hear the thunderstorm in the background of today's video. Note the tile edges are not straight. The whole image is made up of multiple passes of satellite photos. Each one is a tile like this light blue one. The light blue tile is from a different satellite pass with different lighting. The tiles get stitched together and corrections are applied to try to flatten and make it appear as a single image. The corner of the tiles are the most distorted in this attempt to stitch them together. The dam intersects at an angle meaning it probably crosses several corners of tile images. Each corner overlapping the dam distorts its path. Roads at other angles may appear straight. In short, it's a distortion introduced by the image tile processing algorithms. 
Very insightful comment. Thank you for sharing that with us, Christopher Hogue. And our next comment is courtesy of Chris Beatty. I just looked at the Hoover Dam on Google Earth. There are no such anomalies. Great idea, Chris. Let's pull up the Hoover Dam. Traveling across the world to the Hoover Dam now. And it does look pretty straight, Chris. Good eye. On a quick glance, it does look pretty straight. And I have seen people say things like the Three Gorges Dam is distorted intentionally for security purposes or upon China's request, which also makes sense. And our next comment is courtesy of Terry Curriton. I think the curved ship outline you showed proved beyond any doubt that the Google Earth images are distorted. The only remaining questions are, is it accidental or deliberate, and who is doing the distorting? Frankly, I think it is deliberate, but don't know who is responsible or why. And thank you for sharing your thoughts, Terry. And our next comment is courtesy of Mr. Exist. At 344, it looks like someone took an editing tool to it, like some of it looks abnormally pinched and other parts look abnormally bulged. Let's have a look at the dam today and see how it looks. And the dam looks a little less distorted today at least. But I do see what you mean. Thank you for sharing that with us, Mr. Exists. Mr. Exists also says at 28 seconds he looks like a younger Ron Perlman. Anyone else see this or is it just me? I've actually been told that I have Rita Perlman's nose, so I'll take the Ron Perlman. Also, for those of you that haven't seen it, the Discovery Channel actually did a pretty interesting documentary on the construction and the effects of the Three Gorges Dam probably about 15 years ago. I'll leave a link to the video in the description so you can check it out. And I just want to take a moment today to say thank you to anyone who's taken time out of their busy day to watch one of my videos. It's truly appreciated to all of the subscribers out there and the folks who have taken time to leave comments and thumbs up or thumbs downs. Thank you so much. Um, the support has been tremendous and really overwhelming and I'm truly grateful for, for every bit of it. Um, in, in the future, I'm hoping to do some interviews and add some more features to the channel. So thank you for being with us thus far. And until next time, y'all have a nice day. And our last piece of information is a series of interesting tweets.
uh, I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.